Hey everyone and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with all of your favourite creative cloud desktop and mobile design apps. In this movie, we're going to create a wireframing icon that we can use when we're building out a layout. Of course, having placeholder text is really easy, but if you want to put images and other content into your layout, then you need something really to represent those. Well, here's how I do that. It's really quick and easy, and you can use it. You can stick it in a Creative Cloud library and so on. So if I just get a rectangle here, and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle, the size really doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. And then I'll just tap D there to get it the default fill and stroke. I'm going to leave that just at one point there, and I'm going to fill this with a light gray because that way it makes it easier to move around. I also sometimes use the appearance panel to change the opacity of just the fill because that works really well, especially if I'm overlaying the wireframing grid on other items as well. Once we've done that, just pick up the line tool and then simply deselect anything that's currently active and draw diagonally across from corner to corner like so. Now for best results, it's easier if you actually give the stroke round end caps because they blend in nicely, you don't see any gaps, although that's not critical. Then tap O to access the reflect tool and hit return to access the dialog. If it says vertical, all you need to do is hold down the Alt or Option key and hit Return, and that will create you a copy like so. Then you can select everything you've got there in your icon and turn that into a group, and you're pretty much set. Now, when you're resizing this, for best results, you'll need to have scaling of strokes and effects turned off. If you have that on, as I've now enabled, and then you resize it, you'll notice that the strokes change. Now, you may or may not be bothered by that. If you're not, then just carry on. But there you are. That's a very quick and easy way for you to create something to indicate where there's going to be images or other content in your layouts. So there you are. We're done for now. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Reach out to me via Twitter or my Facebook page. You'll find those details in just a moment. Please do spread the word. Keep on watching. And until next time, see ya.